Hello, here you have my uh, Jaguar XFR for sale. Just wanted to give you a quick video here uh, to show you around the car. Um, I've owned the car for just shy of two years, having wanting to scratch that V8 itch. Um, those of you aware, it's a five litre supercharged V8 uh, producing over 500 horsepower. So uh, yes, it goes very quickly. Um, as you can see from the pictures, you can see on screen here, um, the car is in excellent condition. There's no uh, dents or scrapes. Um, I mean, it is a 12 year old car, so it's not absolutely perfect, but it is certainly um, in very good condition. Um, it's in silver with a red interior. Um, some of the highlights, it's got absolute very new Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tires. It originally came with Dunlops. Um, and if you're considering one of these cars, even if you don't buy this example, I would, uh, budget for a set of those they really make a huge difference and are massively better than the uh than the the dunlops that were, were fitted as standard um i've just had the wheels refurbished into graphite so every single one is absolutely perfect uh no scrapes no curbing um look beautiful um the car is not absolutely standard one of the changes is it does have Aspire's um, exhaust system it does make it sound uh, even more fruity uh, for a 5 litre supercharged V8. Um, it doesn't drone on the motorway though, so it's a nice mix. Uh, here's another wheel. Again, no scrapes, absolute perfect condition, but then they were only refurbished this week. So um, the tyres themselves were only fitted within kind of a couple of thousand miles or so. Um, so plenty of tread, lots of life, uh, really far away from the markers there. Um, so yeah, excellent condition. Um, quickly just show you around some of the inside. Uh, we'll start with the, the boot, pretty big boot. Uh, probably could do with a better vacuum cleaner myself, but anyway, um, yeah, uh, nice big boot. It does come with a um, spare tire. Um, there's a space saver. Um, that battery is also brand new. These cars do um, like to go through batteries, so something to, to consider if you're looking at one. So that's a uh, battery was purchased uh, late last year. Uh, so yeah, big, big boot, big black hole. Guess what it is. So um, yep, got your boot there, and then we'll start from the back. Got red leather rear seats with vents on the back unsurprisingly electric windows um, no rips no tears all good condition so the little mark there where i've had a child seat in the back jaguar floor mats and these uh, things here it's got a unmarked suede alcantara headlining i think they're standard on these cars but i'm not 100 sure uh, and you've got cup holders in the rear uh, and a 12 volt socket so yeah that's the back of the car Move to the front. In the front, we've again just jumped in, but we've got more red leather um, unmarked seats. It's a Bowers and Wilkins stereo fitted to this car. Uh, sounds just as back as good as the engine and exhaust combination as well. Uh, we've got a leather dash that's all in excellent condition. There's no peeling that sometimes happens on leather dashes. Um, You've got, uh, well, first of all, like a, a metal, a rather nice metal fi finish. And then I suppose it's not a Jaguar about some wood. Uh, we do have a little kind of mark here on the shellac. It would probably polish out, um, but I haven't attempted it. Uh, so yeah, uh, rather standard fare inside of here. We've got lots and lots of toys. Um, you've got the sat nav screen. Um, you've got um, inside here, an auxiliary port US um, and an iPod port doesn't have Bluetooth unfortunately it's just preceding that kind of era um, but it does have an auxiliary port in the meantime DAB radio um, a 6 CD changer if you use such things we've got a uh, twin um, climate control you've got the um, defrosting front window which is very useful at this time of year um on the front so it's that like ford quick clear system and uh yeah um you've got usual uh, stereo controls and cruise control uh which is standard cruise control on this car um flappy paddles on the back this car is um one of the earlier examples so it's a six speed um 
uh, example rather than uh, the later eight speed. Personally, I prefer the six speed. I think you've got a, a little bit more, it's a bit more useful for the, the flappy paddles. You've got not too many ratios. So um, yeah, if we just start the car up, you can hear it start. It starts keyless start, keyless entry as well. Um, and you can see it starting up there, all the uh, all the vents there rotate in standard Jaguar fare and all work like they should do. Um, the car, as you can see there, is covered 87,500 uh, miles, which is not too much considering it's a 12-year-old car. Um, you can see there we've started up, we've got no warning lights or anything like that. I just need to put my seatbelt on, um, but we're not going to be going anywhere. So, um, yep. Yeah sat nav screen all illuminates you've got heated seats and you've got cooled and ventilated seats here um interestingly i said earlier it doesn't have bluetooth well it does actually sorry it has bluetooth for your phone but it doesn't have bluetooth for your audio um so your phone can connect to it um yeah uh we've got electric seats that are electric in many different modes uh they'll go i think they're 14 or 16 way something um daft um number of adjustments i only just realized that the headrests are electric as well so uh yeah you can hear it all started up there nicely we'll just quickly look under the bonnet while it's going and have a look outside um, there you go you can see some of the different modes for the seats you've got bolster you've got uh um, the, the bolsters go in and out, you've got uh, lumbar support up and down and even the headrest goes. A uh, little bit of wear as you'd expect um, on the bolster but I don't think it's too bad. Maybe a bit of uh, treatment on there on the black stuff would be easier and some down here. But uh, again for the age of the car it's in, in really nice condition. There's no tears, no, no severe marks there. Um, you've got aluminium kick plates and so on. Uh, I said that Bowers and Wilkins stereo, folding mirrors, this is all just like a Volvo, a bit unusual. Uh, yeah, all works as it should. So um, we will, there's the keyless entry there. Um, on the door lock side of things, it's a common fault with these cars actually, is the door locks fail. Uh, funnily enough, they're a Volvo part. Um, that's something I have done to this car since I've owned it. Both rear door locks weren't working properly. Um, they now do work and they've both been replaced by units directly from, from Jaguar. So you should get uh, uh, a good few years life out of them. I think they, they just fail after a while. Um, and here's the engine itself. Uh, I'll bring that into focus nicely. So five liter kind of supercharged V8, the main part. Um, this car's got a really fantastic history. Um, we've got 12 stamps or I've got 12 stamps in the book. Um, and loads and loads and loads of paperwork to support all of that. I bought the car privately, one to sell it privately so we can keep all of that paperwork. Um, but as you can hear, sounds sweet as a nut and it sounds even better when it's on the go. So uh, yeah, we'll just do a quick once round again. Um, let you have a final look at it. Um, the car is located in what today anyway is a very sunny, Aberdeen. Um, so hopefully this video will support your decision. So here we go. You get a bit of a nice rumble there. A bit cold today, so we've got some of the condensation coming out the exhaust. But yeah, that Spires exhaust was fitted by uh, I think the previous owner, um, or it might have even be the owner before that. But yeah, really nice system that you'll find a lot of the cars come fitted with, um, and I think that's for good reason. Um, so, sorry, yeah, let's see here, oh, no huge marks on the, on the seat, on the roof or anything like that, all nice straight along here and so on, the actual bonnet, the bonnet's in really good condition actually, it doesn't have too many stone chips, um, there are a few, um, but some, I don't know, they'll come out and screen like that maybe be touched in um, if you felt so inclined, but I'd rather keep the car looking honest. Um, it's obviously got front and rear parking sensors. Um, it's also got uh, a reversing camera, Xenon headlights, washers on the lights, um, automatic uh, lights, automatic uh, mirrors as well. So yeah, a really good example. Um, I think, uh, and, and a nice car. 
Um, as I said, it's got lots and lots of history to support it. So um, there's no kind of known faults with it in, in my ownership. Um, as I said, I've, I've sorted out a few things with the, um, the, the, rear, the rear doors. But no, I think it's a, a nice car. Um, if you've got any more questions, feel free to get in contact. Um, obviously, I appreciate these kind of things. Uh, please don't waste my time if you're not interested. Um, but um, yeah, if you are, please feel free. I, I'm happy to, to answer any questions you may have for this car. Um, I'll be sad to see it go when it does go. But uh, thank you for watching. Bye bye.